Well, I think I think expanding those genre barriers though is really essential because classical music, like Mickey was saying earlier, has has kind of painted itself into a corner. Um, and there are also so many expectations that come with it that alienate people. Um, and again, I, music and art, it, it's never been about alienation. It's been about community building. And so um, changing people's perspective on what they think classical music can be is, is, I think, one of the most important things that we can do in order to kind of keep the music going. And to be honest, like keeping classical music alive for me has never really been a priority. Like I'm, I'm kind of more of the view that if it doesn't serve a purpose anymore, then it doesn't need to exist. And and, and I, I love the tradition. I love the music and I'm a huge fan of, you know, Beethoven and I love playing that stuff. But I think, again, if it's, if it's not bringing joy to people in a real authentic way, then there maybe isn't, there isn't a, a need for it. Um, I, I probably will like regret saying that, <laughs> but, but, but I, but I do, I do feel that unless we're questioning what this music is, um, then, then we shouldn't be dealing with it. I, and that's what I love about it, chamber music in particular, because I think the power of chamber music is that it's a model for collaboration and it is a model for community building in whatever format you, you perform it in. So I'm more concerned with what a string quartet, for example, or a brass trio demonstrates to our audience um, in, in bridging those divides like Mickey is talking about. I mean, you get three or four people into a room playing together. There are four individuals that even if we all voted or wanted to vote for the same person, there's four very different human beings. And I think right now, what's a more powerful kind of demonstration of, of coming together and bridging those divides than, than chamber music. And I think because of that, it doesn't matter if we're playing, you know, Beethoven or Lady Gaga or whatever, it's more just the model of, of collaboration.